needs 5,000. We got 4,500 over here. He needs to be 5,000. 4,500. 5,000. Basically what we have here is water all out here, big woods bedding area over here. But in amidst all this water, we have an island, dry land. And right in front of that box stand is a levee and a, and a tractor path that they cross. It's gonna put the deer 15 yards from that box stand as they cross to get to this dry land. And if cuz will pan around in a minute, you'll see all this flooded all over here except back this way. So it's perfect setup for today. It is a, what we call a home, a bobble net. The bobble neck. The bobble neck. I think they're in here. Well, our guide pulled a trail camera card on the way in here, which was about a two mile walk, by the way. Maybe two and a half. I'll check my Fitbit if I had one. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we, uh, we're about to put the card in and we're going to see what's on it. Just just to make sure it's not a gar hole. Now, I'm pretty convinced by the tracks it's not a gar hole, but anyway, we're gonna take a look at the, at this SD card. Right here. You see where they're walking up there. All right, one three year old eight point. That looked like a shooter to me of course most of them are shooters to me but anyway that was a that was a good find hey how many how many rednecks you know carry a card reader in their backpack along with all this camera gear are you impressed i'm impressed i need to do that seen a lot of does coming out skirting right here along the wood line we just had a six seven pointer he's an eight eight pointer young buck maybe two maybe three years old we're gonna let him we're gonna let him slide this time it ain't it ain't even four o'clock yet we've seen eight or ten milling around we've got eight point two does out there now but we're just getting to that witching hour it's starting to pick up. That's him. Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the one we were in here to shoot. A little too dark and far. like it's dry enough. Let's see. Better than it was yesterday. Still pretty muddy. I'm going to a new spot. And uh, Brad's got pictures of this deer. Calls it the unicorn. Right? What do you call it? Yes, sir. Calls it the unicorn. <clears throat> the good news is the weather's going to change. Wind's blowing about 15 to 20 right now but it's blowing in some cold weather not snow but it's going to be a 30 degree drop 
Yesterday was close to 60. Tomorrow the high is supposed to be 32. So late season in Illinois. Hunting over food, that's a good thing. He's got two trail cameras on the legs. There's only about an acre of cut, uncut soybeans right here. And they've been getting a picture of a really good deer right here. He calls him unicorn. So we're going to go see if he was here yesterday or the day before. Well, he's there. If it ain't him, this one would do. <laughs> I'm getting a little giddy. I don't know about you. Yes, sir. This oh, is a great spot. Oh, my God. We got in there early, 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 but it's a lot colder today. As you can tell, my funny hat, you like my funny hat? I got lots of funny winter hats, but they're warm. Uh, we found out this, it was supposed to be 20 mile an hour wind, and it was when we got out of the truck. The wind's dying down. It is 26 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. That's a good thing. So anyway, today or tomorrow, today or tomorrow. You saw the trail camera pictures, we threw them up. That big old bug that Brad's calling the unicorn, he was in here the day before yesterday. We were in here yesterday and he did not show. So anyway, that's why the big old ones get big and old. But anyway, we're back in the, the uh, tight corner bean field bow house, Red Rock. We got a good tip from Instagram a while ago from Turkey Caller. And uh, the guy up here, Brad House, he had named this deer the unicorn because he's got one spike coming straight out. And uh, this guy said, because a unicorn is a mythical creature, take a page out of Cranky's book and name him Phil or Bob or Joe or something like that. So. Uh, me and Dale are going to come up with another name. We're going to think about it. But anyway, we got in here way early today. And the reason being the barometer keeps ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. I know you guys follow that. But 
it's it's gotten up to 30.54 something which is insanely good high pressure sitting right over us and even though we don't have snow on the ground and we're hunting on standing beans i got more faith today than i have had so anyway that's the story okay That's a different spot. Don't smell it there behind it. Assuming you could hear it raining, the rain's moving in, followed by snow, so Dale and I are heading out before we get stuck here. <clears throat> He's got to drive back to Georgia. I got to drive back to Mississippi. Unfortunately, right behind this, it's going to be snow on the ground. That would make it perfect for the standing beans, but we can't stay that long. Last afternoon was intense. We got there like 1.30, 1.40 did not see a deer until probably 4.35, which is getting kind of late up there. And then the floodgates opened from a doe and then another doe and a big spike. And at one point, I think seven or eight deer came out at the same time, same spot. The big unicorn looking deer, he's got to move too. Everybody's moving out in front of this bad weather. <clears throat> sure enough, look down through there and I see some antlers through the brush. And out steps his running mate, which is a six point, big heavy six point. At one point we have like 20 deer around us. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Pretty disheartened. Dale Bentley, bless his heart. Man, that was a, it was a great hunt. We saw lots of deer. We didn't get the one we wanted or they wanted, but... I got a feeling we'll both, I know I'll be back to Illinois, Whitehill and Waterfowl, what a cool place. And again, it's not the place, it's the people. And um, I may even see it in the spring. <laughs>